Hello, hello, and welcome to Language Lesson Time, where we are practicing both English and Korean. And today, our subject is, well, about love and being handsome and beautiful and sexy and falling in love and all of these together. Let's begin with number one you can see here. Mm -hmm. I fell, this is past tense, not fall, but fell. I fell in love at first sight. Now, typically, when we talk about time or location, we use the preposition at. So, I fell in love at first sight. Sight, of course, is referring to seeing. So, the first time I saw someone, oh, immediately I fell in love. Again, in English, I fell in love at first sight. There we go. I fell in love at first sight. In the Korean language, nanin, which is I, Chanune, first eye. <laughs> first eye, that's the translation for first sight. Chanune, or first sight. Chanune, sarang e, sarang is love. Bajo soil, I fell, fell into love. So, again, I fell in love at first sight. Nanin chanune, sarang e, bajo soil. Nanin chanune, sarang e, bajo soil. All right, fantastic. That can happen to anyone. I recommend it highly. Let's look at sentence number two. Mm -hmm. She or he is, she is or he is a dream boat. Well, you know, we're not really talking about a vessel that floats on the water. We're simply meaning a dream boat is someone that is so fantastic. It's almost like a dream, not reality, a fantasy. So she's a dream boat. He's a dreamboat. Very beautiful, very handsome, very sexy, just the perfect person. Again in English, she's a dreamboat or he's a dreamboat. In the Korean language, kunyo, which is that woman or kunin, that guy, she or he, kunyo. Meu, meu is really or strongly. Meryok jokieyo. Meryok is referring to being charming, very uh, wonderful, much like dreamboat. It's very charming. So again, if I say she's a dreamboat, kunyo, kunyo nun meyu meryok jokieyo. Or if you're talking about a man, kunun meyu meryok jokieyo. Okay, very good. Let's move on to sentence number three. Sentence number three is like this: She or he makes my heart, makes my heart beat, this is the verb, beat, like a drum. Now we know in your chest, boom, 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 when you're excited, when you feel in love, your heart is beating stronger and faster like a drum. So we say again, she makes my heart beat like a drum, or he makes my heart beat like a drum. Now in the Korean language, we use the same expression. In fact, you can see here, this word, book. Buk is a kind of a drum. Charom means like. So, kunyo, she, kunun, he. Ne kasamul, my chest, or referring to my heart, of course, my chest. Buk charom, like a drum, drum like, buk charom. Tigeheo, run, jump, beat. Yeah, so, again, oh, she makes my heart beat like a drum. He makes my heart beat like a drum. Again, in the Korean language, you can see here. 그녀, 그녀는 내 가슴을 북처럼 뛰게 해요. Or he, 그는 내 가슴을 북처럼 뛰게 해요. Mm, so, makes you very excited and your heart is beating ba boom ba boom ba boom like a drum. Sometimes in English we actually, actually say like a jungle drum because we can imagine in the jungles of Africa or South America you can hear the jungle drums. Boom ba boom 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 ba boom 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 boom. So some people say like a drum or you may say like a jungle drum. Same idea. Okay, let's look at number four. Mm -hmm. Speaking of someone's appearance, now if you say someone has a very nice body, maybe a bodybuilder or they exercise every day, very healthy looking body. What can you compare that to? Maybe a statue. Yeah, check this out, okay? She's got the body of a statue. She's got the body of a statue or he's got the body of a statue. So of course, this means looking very good, looking very healthy, very strong and in good shape, very fit. Okay, this is not like a Buddha statue with a big belly. That's a different statue. It's a sexy statue. So again, she's got the body of a statue or he's got the body of a statue. In the Korean language, 
Again, kunyo is her or he, kunen. Chogak sang katen. Chogak sang is the statue. Katen means like or similar to. So, chogak sang katen momul, mom is body, kajo soil, has. So, again, she's got the body of a statue, kunyo nen. Chogak sang katen momul, kajo soil. Or he, he's got, you, can may say, you may say, kunen, chogak sang katen momul, Kajo soil. Yeah, there you go. So again, talking about someone, someone who's in very good physical condition, looking like a statue, of course. Sentence number five. Mm -hmm. She or he is marriage material. Now think about this. When you talk about marriage material, you're talking about kyoron in the Korean language. Who do you want to marry? Do you want to marry a smart person? Yes. A good person? Yes. A talented person? Yes. Someone wonderful? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So many uh, maybe qualifications, so many things you want to have as a husband or as a wife. That person is marriage material. Now we use the word material. I know it seems like some sort of an item, but this is not plastic or cloth or metal or wood. It, it means it has to do with qualities or abilities or character. So again, she's marriage material, meaning she's a good woman to marry. He's marriage material, he's a good man to marry. In the Korean language, kunyo, she or kunan, he, shingbukam, shing relates to a, a, a wife or a female and nampyeon, nampyeon refers to a husband. So shingbukam, nampyeon gam, ieo, that kind of person. So again, 그녀는 신부감이에요, about a man, 그는 남편감이에요. She's marriage material, he's marriage material. All right, let's move on. Sentence number six. Mm -hmm. I'm totally, you can see this word totally, really I wouldn't say totally, but totally infatuated with her, with him. Now, what's the difference between infatuated and in love? Well, I would say to be in love is more sincere, more realistic, and probably long-term. Infatuated is more temporary. Although it's very passionate, it's not, not very deep and not very long and not very sincere. Infatuated doesn't last a long time, okay? So again here, I'm totally infatuated with her. I'm totally infatuated with him. Again, you can see. I'm totally infatuated with someone. In the Korean language, 나는, which is I, 나는, 그녀, or her, or 그에게, him. 에게 means to, really. So, 그녀에게, to her, 그에게, to him, or with him, or with her. Wanjan he. Wanjan is uh, absolute or certain. So certainly or completely or perfectly or totally. Wanjan he. Holio soil. Holio soil means again infatuated. Again, it's similar to being in love. Buk bajotab. So it, deeply in love but temporarily again. So one more time in English. I'm totally infatuated with him. I'm totally infatuated with her. Or in the Korean language, 나는 그녀에게 완전히 홀려 있어요. Or uh, again, 나는 그에게 완전히 홀려 있어요. There you go. All right, so practice your language. Practice being in love. I'm sure someone will catch your eye and make your heart beat like a drum. Thanks for paying attention. I hope you've learned something. Kamsa hamnida sugo and I'll see you next time. Bye.